look at what technology and taking technology out to you know to the applications and to data and to mean machine learning and AI and bots. It's absolutely you know making a massive change to business. So we're not just about keeping the lights on. We're about what can we do, right? What change can we make? How can the business? How can we be of benefit to the business? And how how can we take that business forward? We want to move away from just operating and keep the lights on and the wheels on. That has to be done, has to be done well. But that can be done by other people besides us. What our team needs to be doing is actually understanding the business drivers very, very well. Understanding the business processes as well. Finding technology that meets that, supports that, answers the risk questions, and then matching the two together. When we look at the reasons why QIC wanted to move to the cloud and what cloud offered QIC and what it still offers them now is that we had that real global reach for their business as they expanded their business, uh, provided them business continuity, it provided them the mobility that they needed, it provided them the scalability um, and you know that reliability. MAQ Digital helped QIC come up with a solution based on obviously the Microsoft Azure platform and Citrix Zen Desktop or Citrix Cloud and their Zen Desktop, so virtual desktops that allowed the QIC to adopt a complete solution with, without having any, essentially any on-premises uh, hardware requirements uh, and data centre requirements. The cloud is just someone else's data centre but they're leveraging it really well to provide economies of scale so that we can just consume a service rather than having to build it and look after it and that's fantastic. Citrix in particular has been you know, a, a very important part of the way that we deliver our service, especially in the business continuity space. So Brisbane had a, a flood event a number of years ago and QIC had traditional data centre model. They were impacted by that flood event and they had to look to cloud because they had concerns around business continuity and disaster recovery as a result of that event. What the cloud allows them to do now is unshackle those services so if that was to ever happen again they can deploy those services in another region around the world in minutes. Citrix does help you stay ahead of the unpredictable, there's no doubt about that. They've done that for a long time and I suppose when we look at what cloud has done they've stepped it up to another level. Now we're able to run the workloads, the Citrix workloads, in the cloud. So when we look at that business continuity and staying ahead of that unpredictability, whether it be climate-based or whatever it be due to, Citrix provides that, there's no doubt about it. We've used Citrix technology to help us stay ahead of the unpredictable in ways that we are still finding use cases for. So we're very happy with the solution. It provides us with what we need now, and we can see it's providing us with what we might need in our cloud version two, which we're working on now.